my dear students welcome back to our channel students in this video i am explaining telangana intermediate first year subject botany part c important long questions and answers let's start quick revision first important long question is part c long questions 8 marks one with a neat labeled diagram describe the parts of a mature angiosperm embryo sac mention the role of synergids the embryo sac is the female reproductive structure found in the ovule of a flowering plant angiosperm it contains the egg cell and other cells that play a role in fertilization here's an easy explanation of its parts parts of the embryo sac one egg cell the cell that gets fertilized by the sperm male cell it's located near the center two synergids two cells that are found beside the egg cell their job is to help guide the pollen tube toward the egg for fertilization they also play a role in attracting the sperm cell to the egg three antipodal cells three cells that are located opposite to the egg These cells don't play a major role in fertilization but they help maintain the embryo sac. Four central cell, the large cell in the middle, which contains two nuclei. After fertilization, one of the sperm nuclei will combine with this cell to form the endosperm which provides nutrients to the developing embryo. Five micropyle a small opening in the embryo sac where the pollen tube enters to deliver the sperm cells role of synergids guiding pollen tube the synergids release chemicals to help guide the pollen tube toward the egg cell this ensures that fertilization happens correctly facilitating fertilization once the pollen tube reaches the egg the synergids help the sperm cell move from the tube to the egg cell simple diagram in summary the embryo sac contains important cells like the egg synergids antipodals and central cell the synergids help guide the pollen tube and ensure the egg cell gets fertilized properly after fertilization the endosperm forms from the central cell providing food for the developing embryo Next important long question is to draw the diagram of a microsporangium and label its wall layers write briefly about the wall layers a microsporangium is the part of a plant where pollen male gametes is produced it's found within the anther of a flower the walls of the microsporangium have several layers each with a specific role Diagram of a microsporangium Wall layers of the microsporangium 1 epidermis Description the outermost layer of the microsporangium Function protects the inner layers from physical damage and water loss Example like skin on the body it protects the internal tissues 2 endothelium Description located just inside the epidermis function helps the anther open and release the pollen it contains cells that can expand and contract allowing the anther to dehisce split open when the pollen is ready to be released example think of it as the spring that helps open the anther 3 middle layer description a thin layer between the endothelium and the tectum function provides structural support to the microsporangium though it is not as active as the other layers example acts like a cushion giving strength to the sporangium four tapetum description the innermost layer of the microsporangium surrounding the developing pollen grains function provides nutrients to the developing pollen it is rich in proteins and enzymes that help in the formation of pollen example it's like the nurse helping the pollen grow healthy summary 
The microsporangium is the structure where pollen is produced. Its wall has four layers, epidermis, protection, endothecium, helps with dehiscence, middle layer, support, and tapetum, nourishment for developing pollen. Next important long question is. 3. Describe the T.S of a dicot stem. A transverse section, TS, of a dicot stem shows the internal structure of the stem when sliced horizontally. It helps us understand how different tissues are arranged. In dicot stems, the tissues are arranged in a particular pattern. Diagram of TS of a dicot stem Layers in TS of a dicot stem 1. Epidermis Description The outermost layer of the stem Function It acts as a protective layer, preventing water loss and protecting the internal tissues. Example, like the skin on our body, it shields the inner parts. 2. Cortex Description Located just below the epidermis, made up of parenchyma cells. Function It stores food and supports the stem. Example Similar to a sponge that stores water. 3. Vascular Bundle Description A collection of xylem and phloem arranged in a ring or circle. Xylem transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaves. Phloem transports food, mainly sugars, from the leaves to other parts of the plant. Function Xylem and phloem together allow the stem to transport water, nutrients, and food throughout the plant. Example Like highways in a city that carry water and food to different places. 4. Pith Description the central part of the stem, made of parenchyma cells. Function It stores food and water and provides structural support. Example Like the soft core of an apple that stores nutrients. Summary In a dicot stem, the structure from outside to inside includes the epidermis, protection, cortex, food storage, vascular bundles, transport of water, minerals, and food, and pith storage and support. This arrangement helps the plant grow and stay healthy. Next important long question is 4. Describe the process of fertilization in angiosperms. Fertilization in angiosperms, flowering plants, is the process where the male and female reproductive cells combine to form a seed. Here's a simple step-by-step -step explanation. Steps of Fertilization in Angiosperms 1. Pollination Definition Pollination is when pollen, male gametes, from the anther of a flower reaches the stigma of a flower, female part. Example, bees or wind carry pollen from one flower to another. 2. Pollen Tube Formation Once the pollen grain lands on the stigma, it germinates, starts to grow. It forms a pollen tube that grows down the style, the tube connecting the stigma to the ovary. The male sperm cells travel through this tube to reach the ovule inside the ovary. 3. Entry of Sperm Cells Inside the ovule, there are two synergid cells that help guide the pollen tube. The pollen tube enters the micropyle, an opening in the ovule, and releases to sperm cells. 4. Fertilization First fertilization, one sperm cell fuses with the egg cell to form a zygote. This is the fertilization step and the zygote will develop into an embryo. Second fertilization, the second sperm cell fuses with the central cell containing two nuclei to form the endosperm which provides food for the developing embryo. 5. Formation of seed the zygote develops into an embryo and the ovule becomes a seed. The ovary becomes the fruit and the surrounding flower parts fall off. Example In a pea plant, the pollen from the anther, male part, reaches the stigma, female part, where the process of pollen tube growth and fertilization occurs. The result is the formation of seeds, peas, inside the fruit, pod. Summary 
Fertilization in angiosperms involves pollination, the growth of the pollen tube, and the fusion of sperm with the egg and central cell. This results in the formation of seeds, which can grow into new plants. Next important long question is 5. Define root modification. Explain how root is modified to perform different functions. Root modification refers to changes in the structure of the root to help the plant perform specific functions other than just anchoring it to the soil and absorbing water. Roots can modify to store food, support the plant, or help in reproduction. Types of root modifications and their functions 1. Storage roots Function Store food and water. Example, carrot and sweet potato. These plants have thickened roots that store nutrients to help the plant survive during dry or winter seasons. 2. Crop roots. Function, support and stabilize the plant. Example, corn plants have crop roots that grow from the lower nodes of the stem. These roots help the plant stand upright and provide extra support. 3. Aerial Roots Function Help in absorbing moisture from the air and support the plant. Example Mangrove trees grow aerial roots that stick out of the soil to get oxygen in waterlogged conditions. 4. Climbing Roots Function Help the plant climb and support itself. Example Money plant, pothos, has climbing roots that attach to surfaces, allowing it to climb walls or other structures for better access to sunlight. 5. Contractile Roots Function Pull the plant deeper into the soil for better stability. Example Onions and tulips have contractile roots that shorten, pulling the plant deeper into the soil to protect it from cold or drought. 6. Mycorrhizal Roots Function, help in nutrient absorption. Example, fungi and plant roots form a symbiotic relationship where the fungi help the plant absorb more nutrients and the plant provides food to the fungi. Summary, roots can be modified for various functions such as food storage, support, absorption of air, climbing and better nutrient uptake. For example, a carrot stores food, while a corn plant has prop roots for support. These modifications help plants adapt to their environment and survive. Next important long question is 6. Describe the internal structure of a dicot root. The internal structure of a dicot root is organized in layers that help the root perform its functions like absorbing water, anchoring the plant, and transporting nutrients. Let's break it down. 1. Epidermis Description The outermost layer of the root. Function It protects the root and helps in water absorption. The epidermis has root hairs that increase the surface area for absorption. Example Like skin on our body, it protects and helps absorb water and minerals. 2. Cortex Description Located just below the epidermis, it's made of parenchyma cells. Function The cortex stores food, mainly starch, and helps in water and mineral transport. Example Think of it as a storage tank for energy and nutrients. 3. Endodermis Description The innermost layer of the cortex. Function it controls the flow of water and minerals into the vascular cylinder, central part of the root. Example, acts like a filter, ensuring only useful water and nutrients pass through. 4. Pericycle Description, a thin layer of cells just inside the endodermis. Function, it helps in the formation of lateral roots, side branches of the root. Example, like a starter for new roots to grow from the main root. 5. Vascular Cylinder Description, the central part of the root, 
containing the vascular tissues, xylem and phloem. Xylem transports water and minerals from the soil to the plant. Phloem transports food from the leaves to other parts of the plant. Function responsible for transporting water, minerals and nutrients. Example, think of it as the roots highway system for moving water and food. 6. Xylem and Phloem Arrangement Description In a dicot root, xylem is arranged in the center with phloem between the arms of xylem. Function Xylem moves water up and phloem moves food around the plant. Example Like pipes carrying water, xylem and nutrients, phloem. Summary The dicot root has layers that help it absorb water, epidermis, store food, cortex, filter nutrients, endodermis, and transport water and nutrients, vascular cylinder with xylem and phloem. It also has a pericycle to form new roots. This structure helps the plant grow and survive. Next important long question is 7. Explain how stem is modified variously to perform different functions. Stems can be modified in different ways to help plants perform special functions. These modifications help the plant adapt to its environment and increase its chances of survival. Here are some common types of stem modifications and their functions. 1. Storage stems Function Store food and water for the plant Example, potato, tuber, and onion, bulb. These plants have thickened stems that store energy for the plant to use during dry seasons or when it needs to grow. Explanation, like a pantry, these stems store food that the plant can use when needed. 2. Climbing stems. Function, help the plant climb and reach sunlight. Example, grapevine and money plant, pothos. These plants have stems that can twist around support like a trellis or fence. Explanation, the stem in these plants acts like a rope to help them climb and get more sunlight. 3. Modified stems for protection. Function, protect the plant from herbivores, animals that eat plants. Example, cactus, spines. In some plants, the stem is modified into sharp spines instead of leaves. Explanation The spiny stem helps protect the plant from animals that might try to eat it. 4. Aerial stems Function Perform photosynthesis or reproduce. Example Cactus Aerial stems In dry conditions, cacti have green stems that can do photosynthesis instead of leaves. Explanation These stems help the plant make its food directly from the sunlight. 5. Modified stems for vegetative propagation. Function Help the plant reproduce without seeds. Example Strawberry plants produce runners, which are horizontal stems that grow along the ground and create new plants. Explanation These stems act like clones to create new plants that are identical to the parent. 6. Thorny stems Function Protect the plant from being eaten. Example Bougainvillea and Rose These plants have thorns that protect them from animals. Explanation The thorns discourage animals from eating the plant. Summary Stems can be modified to store food, potato, Climb, grapevine, protect, cactus, perform photosynthesis, cactus aerial stems, or help the plant reproduce, strawberry runners. These modifications allow plants to survive and thrive in different environments. I hope you understand easily each question. All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers and syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching.
लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स